there's something weird about this. You'll see. Hey guys, Jeremy Jacobitz here from Brunch Voice. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're not new, welcome back. It is lovely seeing all of your amazing faces. This is all about my food adventures all over the world, and today we are in my kitchen right here in Brooklyn, and I am making, well, another viral dish I found on TikTok. So, here's the thing that happened. It was Drake's birthday a few weeks ago. Drake, bless, repping T Dot for you today, old school Blue Jays. It was your birthday, and somebody posted a photo of the menu that you had, and there was an interesting dish, a mac and cheese dish. Sounds pretty normal, mac and cheese. I would eat that on my birthday. But there's something off about it. The menu description said, mac and cheese. Sun-dried tomatoes? Okay. Parsley? Okay. Capers? Okay. And raisins? Hmm. Interesting, that's not a combo I ever would have thought. So what a lot of people have been doing is recreating their own rendition of that dish and seeing how it is. I figured, you know what? Let's put it to the test. I trust you, Drake. I'm going to take the little description that we have and make it into my own very special Drake birthday mac and cheese. Let's do this. Okay, so to be clear about something here, if you look at the photo, it was probably just a misprint, this recipe, but Where's the fun in that? I think let's believe that this is really Drake's favorite mac and cheese, okay? All right, all right. Okay, so for the first step, we are going to make a basic roux. So I'm gonna put in the pan there, two tablespoons of butter. Let that melt down a little bit. Uh, all right, so as this is melting, the pasta is already cooking away. I went with shell pasta, I don't know. Mac and cheese, shell pasta, all sort of made sense to me. Now that the butter is melted, I'm just going to add our flour and some salt. Just gonna start whisking it to combine and it turns down the heat a little bit. Okay, now that it's turning a little bit brown, I'm going to add one cup of milk. Splashy, splashy, splashy. Now we're just looking to combine everything and start to reduce down. You'll know when it's thick enough. Uh, if you put like a spoon in there, it should just stick to the back of the spoon. That will be the test and then we'll know. I mean, it's getting thick pretty quickly. Sticking to the back of the spoon. So we are ready for the cheese. All right, so here's my decision on the cheese. There is no obviously cheese in the description, uh, but what I wanted to do was get Definitely get some creaminess. So I have some mild cheddar. That should make it real creamy. So we're just gonna add a bag of this right in there. It's already shredded, made my life easier. It cuts right into there. But here's my thought process. So with all that like sweetness going on with the raisins and the sort of natural sweetness of the sun-dried tomatoes, I really wanted something that could cut through and maybe it's a bit stronger than the cheddar. So here's what I'm doing. I have a whole block here of gorgonzola, a really like blue cheese, like stinky, like you're gonna taste it. I, in my brain, this is gonna taste really good. So it's not a great melty cheese, which is why I, you know, I, I, again, why I liked all that cheddar in there, but I think this will add a nice bite to everything and maybe take away from the sweetness that I'm expecting. I mean, it is super duper creamy already. Ooh, yeah, it's sticky. Nonstick pan is making my life much easier. If you guys watch a lot of my videos, you realize that I don't recipe test these things. I just like sort of get it in my brain. <laughs> we recipe test in these videos. I always say like in these videos, like these aren't, I mean, yeah, the recipe videos, I it's cool if you guys want to go remake them. But to me, the videos are just more about having fun and cooking. And if it works out, it works out. All right, this is looking crazy creamy. I mean, just, oh yeah. Mmm. I think the, I'm getting a lot of cheddar. I'm not getting a lot of the gorgonzola. So I'm just gonna add uh, the rest of the gorgonzola to it. 
Melted actually even better than I expected it to. So we'll just go to whole thing. I'm also gonna add at this point, let's go, let's get some pepper in there. I think it needs a little bite. Okay. It's cold outside, so I put a sweater on. It's not cold in the kitchen anymore. This was a, <laughs> this was a mistake. <laughs> So the pasta, what you want to do is get it just al dente because we're going to finish cooking in that cheese sauce. Okay, so drain the pasta and the pasta is going to go right into the sauce. Ooh, yeah. Oof. Just like listening to that cheese. Oh, God. Wow. I mean, at this point, you have a very good mac and cheese, but we're not here just to make a normal mac and cheese. We're here to make Drake's mac and cheese, and this is where... Well, we either ruin it <laughs> or destroy it. So here's what we're gonna do. This is basically done. I'm gonna turn that onto low just to keep everything combining in here. And let's get crazy with it. We are going to add the golden raisins. None of these ingredients really have to cook, which is why I wanted to add them all at the end, just incorporate. We are going to add our sun-dried tomatoes right in there and some fresh parsley, chopped parsley right on top. Okay, and then uh, some capers right in there. I mean, I mean, the, the dish looks pretty good, right? All right, let's sort of listen. If it's good enough for Drake on Drake's birthday, it's good enough to eat, so. All right, these are combined, so I think it's time to taste. All right, let's uh, give her a taste. Ooh. Just, just, just listen and take it in for a second, though. Hmm. I mean. Hmm. It is interesting. I think I don't like the raisins. <laughs> I'm on board. Sun-dried tomatoes, capers, parsley, all there. Obviously the, weird, the weirdest ingredient was always gonna be those raisins. And even with me trying to like balance it with that really like strong cheese, I still think that like this overbearingly sweetness of that raisin just cuts through every flavor. Like big bite, and you're like, hmm, that's pretty good, okay. And then you get to the raisin part and you're just like, ah, mm mm, not having it. So, I don't know, Drake, I love you, but if this is actually what you were really served for your birthday, I am sorry. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed that video. Let me know in the comments below what you think. If you wanna subscribe, that'd be cool. Do a lot of food videos, a lot of fun food videos. Make sure you like the, uh, the video and um, yeah. I'll see you guys next time. I, um, I, I, it probably won't be finishing this. <laughs>